I could easily be biased in making this video because people do think that I am smart even though I personally don't believe so. But I think this is especially important to mention for my younger viewers, especially those who are still in high school or even below that. I am baffled by the fact that in certain cases, being smart can hinder you from becoming popular. For me, I've always been in an environment where education was emphasized and there was never any serious nerd bullying. In fact, in my high school, you almost felt like an outcast if you weren't in every single AP class or if you didn't get a perfect mark on every single test. But I know that not a lot of kids have that mindset. I watched so many kids enter their teens with a good head on their shoulders and leave as if their brain was sucked out of their head with a straw. Because apparently you can be bullied for being intelligent and not for bragging about being smart and getting good grades and doing well, but for naturally being a bright person. I read something about this young girl who had the highest standardized test scores in the sixth grade. And then high school came along and this girl's grades dropped from A's to F's. And she got mad at her parents for asking her to do her homework in front of her friend. To which the friend responded, Ew, you don't do homework, do you? My friend's brother once asked her to get him a book because he was too scared that someone he knew might see him reading and he didn't want to be embarrassed over it. That had to be one of the most ridiculous things I ever heard. A kid can't even read a book without worrying about feeling judged. What does that say about the world we live in? It doesn't help that we naturally like stupid stuff and the media will mold to our liking for the simplicity and stupidity of things. With TV, I'm sure people can think of examples of that right off the bat. I'm more concerned with how it occurs on YouTube. I think it's so sad how some internet icons have changed from their witty skit humor into this ridiculous sort of stuff just because it's cool and supposedly funny. Just like in other forms of media, women who you'll meet in person and have the most intellectual and bright attitude are the ones who are making goofy faces, putting on a fake slow voice, and putting themselves down in front of the camera. And there are the guys that make silly faces that connote stupidity and every single video just to try and get the attention and views instead of being their natural selves. And it's contagious. Tell me a 12 year old boy who just watched a marathon of violent television isn't going to act somewhat violent afterwards. That has been proven. What's glamorized by the surrounding media and peers and also what the parents are enforcing is what the kids really gonna pick up on. Unfortunately the containment and hiding away of intelligence is one of those things. I just want to remind people that no matter who you are it's fine to just be yourself. It goes both ways. You you shouldn't purposely act smarter to try and impress other people and at the same time you shouldn't be dumbing yourself down to fit in either. If you are unhappy with yourself, change yourself for yourself. Don't put on an act for other people. But if you're personally fine with being intelligent or being below average, that's fine, embrace that. If you like who you are, don't hide that away. So let me know in the comments an aspect of yourself that you feel that sometimes you try and hide from other people. It could be a guilty pleasure, a certain behavior that you don't like other people knowing that you actually do, or anything else, just let me know. So thank you for watching and I will see you next video. Bye. How old are oh, damn it, I didn't think of a wish. Hurry up! How old are you now? No, Josh. Josh, shut up!